These entrepreneurs who received funding from Dragon's Den just opened their first Toronto restaurant. The baby bok choy looks so cute in this. It's literally like they're living their best life until I eat them. Here, they're giving ramen a Canadian twist. The two pillars of Japanese ramen are regionality and innovation. There are about 30 regional varieties in Japan, so owners Mickey and Jared Farrell wanted to stay true to the tradition of it being a locally influenced dish and create their own style specific to the area. Because of this, they use a lot of chicken, have plenty of vegetarian and vegan options to choose from, and have limited seafood options since there is no ocean nearby. Chicken tan tan men, seasoned ground chicken, baby bok choy, and udo togarashi in a chicken broth with spiced chili oil. Mm. This is jam-packed with flavor. I don't think the spice is overpowering. It clears all your airways so that you can actually taste what you're eating. <laughs> the baby bok choy adds a nice touch too because it kind of gives you a little bit of a break halfway through. Combining Jared's 30 plus years of experience as a chef, Mickey's knowledge of her Japanese culture, and their collective experience of attending the Yamato School of Ramen and their travels throughout the country and beyond, Crafty Ramen was born in Guelph in 2017. It opened in Kitchener in 2019, and now it has a Toronto location. Five pork gyozas. Based on Mickey's family recipe, uh, Mickey's one of the owners. No matter where I go, this is gonna be a side that I order. Mm. You can tell it was made with love. Sometimes I get so excited I don't even chew. <laughs> Korean fried chicken. Mm. The outside's crispy and the inside's just nice and juicy. The hint of sweetness that it also has helps with the spice level to kind of like subdue it so it's not overpowering. Mm -hmm. Visit Crafty Ramen at 217 Ossington Avenue.